this is Nick Potter. One of my roles here at Duke Basketball is helping uh, guys who get injured, rehabilitate from those injuries, and then uh, regain their full fitness so they're ready to return to play. You know, when guys get injured, obviously the, the first thing we want to do is to make sure there's no major injury, and then we're able, you know, do all the proper testing. And so once that, all that stuff was clear, we had to go ahead for a full rehabilitation and uh, a kind of aggressive return to play. Trey's been working three, four times a day, coming in doing treatment. You know, we've kind of been working around the clock, and he's put in a ton of work in the pool, in the train room, up on the court, in the weight room. It's all the stuff that you know. a lot of guys don't see be behind the scenes. He's put in a tremendous amount of work. And so I was kind of going to a little bit of an overview of, of some of the stuff we've done with him. You know, so in the beginning we want to get some just general motion, get, get any kind of uh, soreness and pain down. Um, then we start getting the muscles reactivated, getting the strength back. We got him in the pool, just getting the arms moving. We take gravity out of it. Uh, and that takes us into a, a major thing of not only do we want to uh, rehabilitate a particular injury, but we want to take care of the rest of his body. So when an injury is just that little bit better we can return to, to practice or to play that we now we don't have to regain his fitness that his fitness is already maintained from where it was at least as best as we can within a day or so once we got that that soreness down uh, we got Trey in the pool we had him running we had him got him first just doing some general movement so he learns to get a little bit more confidence but also get that range of motion really we're able to do a ton of lateral uh, band resistant movement because uh, it doesn't create a lot of any jarring to the shoulder and so we could really retrain his hips and get his get his defense going from day two you know and so when he get, hits the court you know the next time he's on the court he, his defense should be well, like it hadn't left off maybe even be a little bit better if that's possible if we put a band on someone and we do some linear running it actually makes it a lot harder and makes them have to do it a lot more correct so there's less room for error if they're going to create that forward propulsion so then once we had him running full out on the court and moving around, we, we brought into play um, our catapult system. And so uh, this is our GPS and accelerometer based uh, movement tracking that we use on all of our players in every single practice, every single game, shoot around. Uh, so we have a really good idea of the, the intensity and the quantity of movement that occurs in every single session where it kind of shows all the guys and how much they're doing and obviously Trey did a little bit less and then we can look at the types of activities and so you know you could see how much they did in practice or in, in post-practice this is how much Trey did in his rehab and an individual work with one of our assistant coaches. Then if we fast forward to Thursday and we look at how much Trey did compared to everybody else, you can see he's right at the same level as everybody else. If you took the average there, and so now we're really returning his loads to the same as everybody else. And so we can look at his left, his right, forward jumps and decelerations. And so kind of two major things we want to see is the ratio of, of ground movement to jumping movement is, is the same as everybody else, but also the symmetry. So he had seven left and eight right movements. So we can see that he's moving symmetrically one side versus the other. And so from here, it's only going to build up from there. And so it kind of gives us confidence and also gives Trey confidence knowing that even though if he feels great we can quantify and say hey look we've actually all that work you put in while you've been injured it's really paid off we're able to maintain your fitness now you're ready to perform at a high level and also be safe where you're not under trained where you might get an over you, you might get an injury because you haven't done enough or we've been working too hard in the wrong way and now you're you're over trained emotionally I have been up and down for sure at first thought it was much worse than it was it's been going a lot better than <laughs> I pictured and imagined it would be, uh, thanks to Jose and Nick, and everyone else who's been working with me so far. Well, Nick Potter is a treasure for our, our, our program. His role has, has gone up in these last two years immensely. Two years ago, we or reorganized uh, our medical support staff and just what we do on, on a year-round basis, and uh, Nick really is the key to that. And uh, you know, he has different titles. To me, he's more of a sports scientist for our program. And uh, his hands-on preventive and recovery methods are, are amazing. But also, you know, what he gives to me every day are reports of our workloads, how guys are moving along. And uh, I adjust my practice accordingly. We work closely, very closely on a day-to-day -day basis to try to make sure that uh, we stay fresh, and if you stay fresh, you have a greater chance of pre preventing injury. Trust is huge uh, in any aspect of life. It's really huge 
in what Nick does with the players. They see uh, how good he is. And the, the thing that our players have to learn, and this is something if they want to be uh, a professional player, is that they have to do this daily. You know, it's not, you don't come in and get treatment just after you have an injury or after something, uh, something hurts or you know, you're moving on in that direction. You come in every day and where Nick gets a chance to know you, Nick and Jose get a chance to know you and your body and uh, that the prevention of injury is the most critical part of this. You know, recovery from injury obviously is, is the second thing, but prevention is key. And you know, he, he does a great job in developing those relationships uh, with our players.